So now that the first Lineage OS 15.1 builds have started to go out for select devices, I wanted to do a tutorial and show you how to upgrade from Lineage OS 14.1 to Lineage OS 15.1. Because as you can see, it's not going to let you download this with the updater tool. So you're going to need to go ahead and download the Lineage OS 15.1 from the website. And I'll have this website linked in the tutorial that's linked down below this video. And then you're going to need to download the recommended Google Apps for Android 8.1 which again I'll have direct links for that are again suggested by the Lineage OS devs. Um, as of writing this and doing this video, Open G Apps currently crashes. This will likely get fixed in the future. So if if you're doing this upgrade later, they may or may not have fixed that. Just something I wanted to throw out there. So once you have those files downloaded to the device. We're going to go ahead and boot into recovery mode, which of course is going to be TWRP. I'm first going to show you how the recommended way of doing this is. And if it works, then great. I recently upgraded another phone, a regular OnePlus 3, and ran into an issue when upgrading it with the recommended method but then I have figured out a way around that so I'll mention that as well even if the first method works fine so all we're supposed to do is boot up into TWRP then we're going to tap on wipe we're going to tap on the advanced wipe option we simply want to wipe the system partition shouldn't take very long at all go ahead and tap the home button then we're going to tap on install we're going to go to the folder where we have our files in so we're going to tap on the lineage os 15.1 zip go ahead and tap add more zips and we're going to tap on the 8.1 gapps zip file and I'm going to go ahead and even add in Majisk to it just so that it's done once you have all your files ready swipe the blue arrow to the right to begin the installation and then we're just going to wait Now before when I did this on the OnePlus 3, it wouldn't even flash the Lineage OS zip file. It instantly said my device is not the OnePlus 3 or the OnePlus 3T and it gave me the error. So what I had to do was download the open beta, the latest open beta for my device from OnePlus and that's what you saw that other file in that new folder then once you install that open beta then you can go back and install lineage os with g apps after that and then majisk or anything else you want after that and then this suggested way was the recommended method and did not work for my oneplus 3 for whatever reason when I went looking for suggestions on XDA, people were re recommending installing that latest open beta for my device first and then following through with this. So as you can see, that was it. It installed Lineage OS, it installed G Apps, and it installed Majisk. You don't have to install Majisk if you don't want, you don't even have to install G Apps if you don't want. Once that's done, we'll just go ahead and wipe the cache partition for good luck and then reboot the system. 
wiping the cache partition is usually not required anymore. Um, I've stopped doing that for a lot of my guides and it hasn't affected anything. I figured, but it's one of those things that it can't hurt, especially when we're doing a major upgrade like this. Now I did pause the video right there because that OnePlus logo it seemed like it was being stuck there for a long time. I'm not sure if I would have let that go. I mean I was waiting for at least like 15 minutes. I'm not sure if it would have moved on to the Lineage OS boot animation or not. So I just held down the power button to force the OnePlus 3T to turn off and then I powered it back on let it go through its normal boot cycle and as you can see we have gone through back into Android check out our system about phone and we are now on Lineage OS version 15.1 so like I said that me holding down the power button is likely something that may or may not be required if I would have waited another 10 minutes at that OnePlus splash screen it probably could have finished updating maybe it got caught on something and it needed that so again just something to be aware of just like I experienced with updating the regular OnePlus 3 So that's how you update from Lineage OS version 14.1 to Lineage OS version 15.1.